the diagram as you're reading the problem. Or uh, organize your information as, as you're reading the problem, because sometimes that helps. Um, so for instance, this one. Scott starts jogging from point X to point Y. Half an hour later, so like half an hour later, his friend Garrett, who jogs one mile per hour slower than twice Scott's rate. So I was stuck there because that's already very confusing. I'll stop there and really think through what that means. G for Garrett, S for Scott. Garrett jogs one mile per hour slower, so it's less than two times Scott's rate. And that's what I would really go through. So I would take my time with that to write the right equation because um, for this type of problem, I've seen many students actually rewrite it this way one less than two times Scott's rate. This is the incorrect right way of writing it. It is one less than two times of Scott's rate. So be careful of that. Take your time with that. This is wrong. And then I would go again, okay. Uh, Garrett jogs and starts from the same point and follows the same path. If Garrett overtakes Scott in two hours, how many miles will Garrett have covered? So Scott, jogs from X to Y, uh, and then half an hour later, Garrett starts at the same point. So that's all the information you have to really understand. And I, I obviously took a lot longer to read through it and understand it because I'm saying it out loud and I'm trying to explain it to you guys, but you need to be able to do that within a minute. It sounds like a very short amount of time, but with practice you can do it, but like I said, you do want to take a little longer to make sure you actually have the correct equation for this. So, even though this is kind of a lot, but let's, let's follow what they say here. Following guideline one, we let R equal Scott's rate. That's a line. We let S equal Scott's rate, and then G equals Garrett's rate. And do you see how they have this same equation I do? 2R minus 1, or in this case, 2S minus 1. And then we look for two quantities that are equally to each other. Uh, when Garrett overtakes Scott, they will have traveled the same distance. So by the time that Garrett and Scott reach, like Garrett and Scott kind of like go past each other, they will have reached a point where they're in the same distance. Okay? And their distance has to be the same because their distance is the point that they meet together. So you can set these two equal to each other, 2.5s equals 4s minus 2, and use that to solve it with basic algebra at this point. You guys all know how to solve for s. If we were to do the math, and I'm just going to just gonna write it here because the answer is already here, you would find that the s, or the rate, is 4 over 3. Now, 4 over 3 is not the answer. What did we just solve? You, I think you said it. Scott's what? Rate? Yes. We solved for Scott's rate, but it, what is the question asking? Caught it. How many miles? We're looking for the actual distance, but we needed to find the rate because we needed at least that much to help. Um, and so you can put this into either Scott or Garrett's equation. It doesn't matter because your distance still should come out the same. Um, so if we put it back into Scott's, the distance, we put this back into here, your distance then should be three and one-third of a mile. I, I'm just writing that straight up because I figured you guys could do the math once you plug it in there, but that's what your answer should be. Now, you have to think of all this and solve all this within a minute and 40 seconds because that's how much time you are given per question on a section 4 test. For a section 3 test, this would take a minute and 15 seconds, or that's how long it should take. But this will most likely... I was going to say this is most likely going to be a section 3, but I think they would give this to you on a section 4. You could do this without a calculator, but because it's a word problem and it takes so long, they would give it to you on a section 4. So all of that process needs to happen within a minute and roughly 40, I don't even think 40 actually, now that I think about it, I think it's supposed to be a minute and 20 seconds. Sometimes the SAT will put trick questions or trick answer choices there so that you will answer it incorrectly thinking 
confidently that you are right. So be careful with that, okay?